Welcome to Community Health Nursing mini-series. This mini-series have been designed to introduce to you fundamental community public health nursing concepts. Before you begin listening to this mini-series, I recommend that you have your notebook ready and you have your PowerPoint printed and that you're taking notes so you can follow along with this mini-series lesson. By the end of this lesson, the student will recognize the core functions of public health and essential public health services, will describe approaches to public health nursing, will recognize national guidelines for improving public health. In talking about public health, you hear about three core functions. These I recommend that you get to know for your testing and you need to know them for your functioning. These are assessment, policy development, and assurance. What is assessment for aggregates? Assessment is when you systematically collect and analyze and make available information on healthy communities. Think of assessment as knowing what needs to be done to make a community healthier. What is policy development? Policy development is promoting the use of scientific knowledge base in policies and decision making. Policy development is being part of the solution to get it done. As a nurse, you can be part of a solution to make healthcare decisions. What exactly then is assurance? Assurance is ensuring provision of services to those in need. Think of assurance as making sure it gets done. What was supposed to be done gets done. In public health, we have the 10 essential public health services. Uh, these are grouped in under the three core functions we talked about and they all fit in there. These services are not a prescription for what health agencies should be doing. Instead, they are intended to help them as a descriptive tool to capture the field of public health and communicate what public health provides. Sometimes it's really hard for the lay public to understand what's happening when we're assessing, we're monitoring and diagnosing and investigating and informing and educating and empowering and mobilizing partnerships and developing policies and enforcing laws falls under policy development. Linking people to provide care and assuring competent workforce and evaluating and researching is all part of assurance. So the public health core functions, we have the 10 essential health services that are being provided around that. Prevention is a very important concept out of this unit that you need to make sure you have complete understanding of what it means and so that you can answer those hard test questions because prevention may be on your test uh, for this class and it also may be on your test for the board review. What is prevention? We're going to talk about prevention from three kinds, primary prevention, secondary prevention, and tertiary prevention. Primary prevention are actions that are taken prior to an occurrence of a health problem and those actions are directed towards avoiding their occurrence. That's called primary prevention. 
I would like for you to pause the video and I would like for you to look up and research examples of primary prevention strategies and write down about five of them and be sure that you understand how those examples that are given are examples of actions that are taken prior to something happening um, and also that are directed at avoiding for something to happen. So primary prevention is about something before it happens, you do something. Secondary prevention is different from primary prevention because it is an early identification and treatment of existing health problems. So we know something does happen and we're going to either screen for it or we're going to go ahead and immunize for it so that it doesn't happen. So those are examples. I just told you two examples of secondary prevention strategies where we're doing an early identification and treatment of existing health problems. I would like for you to stop the video at this point and look up secondary prevention examples and see how those fall under early identification and treatment of existing health problems. Tertiary prevention is activity aimed at returning the client to their highest level of function and preventing further deterioration. For example, if somebody had a stroke because they were not able to afford their medication for hypertension. Tertiary prevention measures are going to prevent the stroke from happening again and they're going to be geared at making sure the patient has their meds and are taking them and can afford them. Sometimes tertiary prevention measures deal with avoiding further decline for the patient for a known health problem and avoiding further complications from occurring so that the patient is at highest level of function. In summary, you can see that public health has a specific approach that is systematic and methodical from looking what the problem is to seeing what is the cause of the problem, to seeing what works for the problem, to seeing how do you do it, and how do you go from a problem to a response, public health follows a systematic pattern that is similar to the nursing process.